Hi, my name is Rekha Ayodhi. I'm from Oracle Product Management Team. Here I have a tutorial on configuring Oracle eBusiness Suite Integrated SOA Gateway for SOAP services in release 12.2. This tutorial is intended for system integration administrators and DBAs who are familiar with eBusiness Suite concepts, patching, and SOA Suite administration. In release 12.2, ISG depends on Oracle SOA Suite for SOAP-based web services. Hence, there are certain setup steps which need to be performed on Oracle eBusiness Suite as well as on Oracle SOA Suite. After setup steps, we will validate it using diagnostic scripts. I will deploy Sales Order API as SOAP service and invoke the service to create Sales Order in eBusiness Suite. For this demo, I have used a single node installation of EBS release 12 to 10 with 19C database and single node instance of SOA Suite release 12 to 14 with its own 19C database. Both these environments are in the same network and allow network access to EBS database and application ports and SOA Suite's admin and manage server ports. Let us start with ISG install node 13110681. For SOAP services, we will look at part B and sections 3, 4, and 5. As shown in this architecture diagram, SOA Suite should be deployed or installed in its own application server or WebLogic server and with its own SOA Suite database server. EBS site setup steps starts with applying the latest ISG consolidated patch. Ensure to go through the readme of patch for any prerequisites. This EBS instance has the prereqs in place. Hence, I will proceed with applying the latest ISG consolidated patch. Now, I will proceed with executing the ISG SOAP setup script on EBS side. Before that, I will create a temporary directory and execute the script from there. Depending upon single node or multi node installation type, the script prompts for various inputs like admin server URL, etc. So it is advisable to have the values for input prompts handy before actually proceeding with the execution of the script. Provide EBS WebLogic admin username and its password. Provide EBS WebLogic admin server URL without the protocol information. EBS is single node, hence answer is no. And SOVA Suite is not configured in a cluster, hence answer is no again. Now provide SOVA Suite's admin server URL for HTTP protocol and SOVA manage server URL. SOVA Suite's fully qualified hostname and its IP address. As part of the setup, OFM and OECO servers will be restarted by the script. This process takes some time, allow it to complete and the log file for each of the steps will be created in the current working directory. Make a note of this EBS Bipal payload zip file. We will have to copy this to the SOA suite machine. Next, let us follow the steps to restrict access to EBS database from external nodes. We will follow step 2b for non rack 19 c database. Since it is 12 to 10 instance, I need not run FS clone. Now configuration steps on server suite. I will skip steps 1 to 3 as EBS is non-TLS enabled. As part of step 4 and 5, I will create directory for ISG temp and DBC. This is a single node installation. I will place the DBC folder inside the temp folder itself. For multi-node configuration, ensure to create temp directory in a shared file system, whereas the DBC folder should be in a non-shared file system. EBS Bipal payload zip file generated by ISG SOAP script in EBS should be now copied to this temp directory. Also, there is an ISG patch for SOA Suite 12 to 14, which we need to download and extract its content in this temp directory. Remember that we need not extract the EBS Bipal payload zip contents. It will be done by the ISG script itself. This is the ISG temp directory which has the patch as well as EBS Bipal payload zip file and the DBC folder. Extract the patch contents. Before executing the setup script, ensure that the checkpoints mentioned in step 8 are in place. We will log into Sova Suite admin console and check the admin server as well as manage server status. Both the servers are up and running. 
Another checkpoint is that the listen address should be defined for both the servers. Now let us check if the node manager is reachable. Now let us check if the boot.properties file is defined for admin server and sova manage server. Boot.properties file should have the admin credentials. It is not present for sova server so I will copy it from the admin server. Now that the checkpoints are passed, let us proceed with execution of the script. We need to source the web logic and domain environment files. The setup script takes a lot of input parameters. It is better to prepare the values beforehand. Ensure to navigate to ISG temp directory before executing the script. You can get the EBS DB SID information from the DBC file and remember the SOA Oracle Home is not the same as Oracle Home. You can get its value from the SID domain ENV file. We have completed the SOAP setup for EBS ISG in release 12.2. Now let us validate the setup. We have to execute this diagnostic scripts from EBS side. Now let's verify the results in the generated report file. Now let's execute the second script. We will check the results in the report file. All configuration checks have passed. Now let's execute the third script which validates the design time operations. All the design time operations have completed successfully. SOAP setup is validated. Now you can deploy and invoke an API as SOAP service. Let's log in to eBusiness Suite and navigate to integrated SOA gateway responsibility. We will search for sales order API OE inbound INT. Navigate to SOAP Web Service tab. Select the methods and click generate. Web service artifacts are generated. Select the authentication type and click deploy. The PL SQL API is now deployed as a SOAP service and you can click the view battle and see it is deployed on the SOVA suite server. You can access the XSD as well from here. Now let's define grants for this API and service. Grants are created. Now let's invoke the service from a SOAP client. This order is created successfully using this API as a SOAP service. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Thank you.